day and night. I want to see Guruji. I want to have just me and Guruji. I wanted to have a conversation with him. So then the news came that Guruji was in Periyakulam. So immediately me, Amma and Akka went to Periyakulam and he was actually doing Radha Kalyanam there. Mm -hmm. So it was actually a big thing, right? Guruji was doing Radha Kalyanam and we, we were able to go. So we went to Periyakulam. There was a huge crowd, like out the door. There were so many people. It was also so hot that day. Like I genuinely didn't think, okay, this is not the time. We will not be able to talk to Guruji now. Like there's so many people here. There's no way you will have one chance to go talk to Guruji. So me and Akka, we were standing in the side just um, watching the Radha Kalyanam and uh, Guruji, and I was still praying. I mean, maybe some chance will come, I'll be able to go talk to Guruji. Then in the side, there was one separate line that me and Akka snuck into. <laughs> Um, and we snuck in and we were hoping because that was the closest line to Guruji and I was really wanting to see Guruji that day. Me and Akka snuck into the line when we were just waiting. It was also so hot that day I genuinely felt like I was going to like faint and fall. Like I was sweating so much. Then Guruji called me and Akka from the side in Periyakulam and he talked, I know Akka talked to him Genuinely, when we went to Guruji, my, I had so much to tell Guruji. I had so much to talk to him with. I wanted to have a conversation with him, but my mind just went blank when I went in front of Guruji. Like, I, I didn't have anything to say. The only thing that actually came out of my mouth was Radhe Radhe. That's it. <laughs> yeah, <experience. laughs> Very so then after that, Guruji gave us fruit and then sent us off. And... Akka got an apple. No, I got an apple. Akka got a pomegranate. And that day, I was so hungry, I genuinely felt like I was going to faint and fall. So because of the apple that Guruji gave me, see, if it was a pomegranate, I wouldn't have been able to. <laughs> but Guruji gave me the apple, so I was able to sit there for longer. So then that day, we went home. And I felt so bad because I, I didn't say anything to Guruji. I only said Radhe Radhe. What, like, I didn't have any inter interaction with him, right? So then at home I was thinking and I was, I was telling Akka about it. I was like, how come I didn't say anything to him? Like I, I wanted to talk to him, but I just couldn't. My mind went completely blank. So that night I kept thinking about it. I, I kept thinking I should, have, I should have said something. I should have talked to Guruji. Tell him how school is going, tell him how satsang is in Atlanta. So I was really sad about it that night. Then that night when I was sleeping, I had a dream. Guruji came in my dream and he said, I understand your feelings and I know what you're trying to say to me. you chant Nama, then your prayers really will come true. Even though I wasn't able to go and have an actual conversation with Guruji, he understood what I was trying to tell him and he understood that I wanted to go talk to him. Mm -hmm.